Yo, this video should interest you all. This is how the scoring works in the digital SAT. We have made this video and we have got this data after taking the test ourselves numerous times, manipulating the number of questions that we get correct or incorrect, right? So let's see the general philosophy behind the scoring in SAT. You get your reading or writing or math, any of the two sections, the score will always lie between 200 to 800 and the scores are independent of each other, which means if you get, let's say 300 in reading and writing, that in no way will make any difference to your math score, right? If you get all questions incorrect, you get a 200. In fact, even with some questions correct, you can still get a 200. We'll see that soon. With all questions correct, or even with one or two incorrect, you can get a score of 800. So that total between both the sections will be uh, ranging from a minimum of 400 to a maximum of 1600. So let's see the possibilities and verbal with respect to scoring. If you get all questions right in module 1 and no questions right in module 2, all incorrect that is, and because you get everything right in module 1, your module 2 will be a hard module 2, you will get a score of 530. If you get everything wrong in module 1 but everything right in module 2, which is the easy module, you will get a score of 460. So it's very clear that you have to do well in module 1. Module 1 is more important in terms of scoring than module 2 is, right? We can see it straight away here. In fact, if you see in this two columns, uh, rows, sorry, you get the same thing that 27 in module 1 correct and 14 correct in module 2 is a score of 650. But if you do vice versa, you get a score of only 530, right? Some digital SATs have a hard uh, module 2 on 19 or more correct. So in that case, an 18 can still give you an easy module 2. And with 18 correct in module 1 and 0 correct in module 2, you can still get only a 200. Imagine, right? With 18 questions correct, you're only getting a 200. Whereas if you get one question, one extra question right, and you end up with the hard module, your 200 straight away becomes a 450. So it's important that you get onto the hard module instead of the easy module, right? Uh, if you get one question wrong in module 1 and two questions wrong in module 2, you lose 70 marks out of the 800, right? That's a lot. So great, this is your reading and writing scoring. The summary is that the minimum that you can get if you are getting an easy module, right? So you are getting 0 correct in the first and 0 correct in the second. So the minimum is 200. The maximum with easy. So let's say that you get an easy even with 18 questions and you get everything correct in module 2, the maximum is 590. The minimum with hard, which means that you just get a hard section after which you don't get anything right, is a 450, and the maximum hard, of course, is 800, right? So these are pretty well defined, but these are things that we have really found out, we have worked hard, and these you can expect to be correct. Before we continue with our video, here's some information about the new course. Imagine the best SAT tutor available for you 24 seven to solve your queries and guide your prep. That's exactly what Prepter does. My AI avatar will be constantly with you throughout your prep. What are you waiting for? Join our waitlist, link in the description. Now, similarly for math, getting all questions right in module one and nothing right in module two is a 560. The vice versa is 430. And then when you go to half and half, 22 right in module one, and 11 right in module 2 is a 680 and the vice versa is 530. So again, the story is very clear. Please focus on doing well in your module 1. You get 12 right in module 1 and nothing right in module 2 is a 460. Sometimes if your 12 also gives you an easy module, you may get less, right, as 410. Instead of 460, you get a 410 just because you got an easy module 2. There have been cases that with all 22 correct in module 1 but 1 or 2 incorrect in module 2 you still get an 800 in math. So overall math summary is minimum that you get with an easy module 2 is 200, maximum you get with a hard module 2 is 800 but the maximum you get with an easy module 2 is 530 and the minimum you get with a hard module 2 is 460. So overall the key takeaways for us is that the better you do in module 2, the better your score will be, right? Do not overthink about which module you are in. 
there are questions you will see in tests that are common to both modules, right? So don't overthink, oh, this is a very easy question. Maybe this is an easy module to don't do that. Just give each and every question your best shot. Once your exam is over, then you can start thinking about difficulty levels, right? But during the exam, don't overthink about which module you are in. See you soon for the next video. Hey Prepters, thank you so much for watching our video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video again. Here's a video that we think you might like, and click here for the full walkthrough playlist so you can prepare for the SAT the Prepto way.